A YouTuber named Shiva the Vlogger goes to an old movie theater in India that is said to be inhabited by something not of our plane of existence. The interior is completely destroyed, as if something has stomped its way through here many times before. Nothing about it feels safe or abandoned, as they make their way from room to demolished room. They move in a hurry and try to record as much as they can as quickly as possible to avoid staying there for long. To be honest, most of the amateur footage is pointed at the ground, but at 7 minutes and 29 seconds, they record a strange figure leaning out of the doorway to look at them. I think they probably would have immediately noticed something this big and ran away, so I'm pretty sure it's just a hole in the wall or something. But let me know what you see, and if you think it's a shadow figure like they claim it could have been. Seeing something other than wild animals and nature in the forest is always creepy. So what if you saw this? James Jones published a creepy figure that he'd caught on video in the forest in June of 2012. He explained that he was currently making a homemade indie horror flick for which he wrote his own script. After setting up a prop ritual circle in the middle of the forest, based off of research for his film, he ran some rehearsals and then headed home. He returned the next afternoon to film more. That's when he spotted this figure. In his own words, I don't have any explanation on what it is. The reason why this is so weird is because this figure is exactly where I had created the ritual circle last night. When he returned with his camera that evening, the figure had disappeared. From afar, it appears like a hooded demon wearing a black robe. It's unmoving. While many in the comments believe it's just a tree or a stump, others wonder if the uploader was reaping the consequences of setting up a ritual circle in the forest. What do you think it is? Sound. While walking in a residential area around midnight, Redditor 07 Sunny 10 hears this mysterious sound. What kind of sound is that? So weird. And it's rhythmic. He says it sounds like those extraterrestrial tripods from the movie War of the Worlds. The Redditor wonders what could be making this noise. Redditors in the comments have their theories. What could be making such noise? <laughs> Is it a sky trumpet, steel pipe on concrete, or something extraterrestrial? To me, the soundscape seems to come straight from outer space. Number 20. Randy Doss claims to live in a haunted house and offers this video evidence for proof. I dare you to slam that door. <laughs> They start recording this video after the door opens all by itself, at which point they try to get the spirit to do something else. And with that said, the ghost seemingly takes up the challenge. Watch the crack in the door and you'll see there's absolutely nobody on the other side. No. Just for the record, it's only Nick and I here. Just when the door almost slams shut, this happens. Oh my god, no! Oh my god! Whoa. The obvious answer is that there is a child standing on the other side of the door, but look again. There appears to be nothing more than an empty sleeve, and more importantly, it doesn't make contact with the door at all. This makes me think that whatever forced the door open could have also wrestled the nearby jacket too. Have you ever felt like someone was watching you while you slept? The truth is, they might be. A couple in Bucktown, Chicago discovered an intruder had crept into their home to take their valuables and to watch them creepily as they snoozed on the sofa. He was captured on a security camera gazing at the couple, Jordan and Jack, from the upstairs balcony while they slept below on their couch during a Netflix binge. It was only when Jack said to his girlfriend, why are you at the top of the stairs wearing a white hoodie before we went to bed? And she answered, I wasn't at the top of the stairs, that the pair started to freak out. The intruder stood over them, watching for nearly five minutes the first go around. 
Then he went back to snooping through the couple's things, only to return and gaze at them for another five minutes. The intruder is believed to have burglarized other neighborhood homes. He managed to get into the house through their bedroom balcony door, which they left open. In fact, he was so light on his feet that the couple's dogs didn't even budge. They slept the whole while at their owner's feet. What valuables did he take? As it turns out, only Jordan's purse. In fact, this was the reason the couple watched the surveillance video in the first place. They'd gotten into an argument about where Jordan had left the purse. Jack suggested she'd forgotten it at the restaurant they'd gone to the previous night. Jordan insisted she'd brought it home. Moral of the story, binge watching Netflix is more unsafe than you'd think. Cassie is with Danny Dorito and Ali H to find evidence of a spirit that they think is haunting not just this house, but most of the surrounding forest as well. They come across a ritual that someone left behind for some reason, possibly in a hurry. They figure out how to complete it and hear a noise shortly after reciting these ancient words, which I'm hoping someone who happens to practice magic might be able to recognize and tell us more. Rolf? Yep, roll. Oh they decide to leave everything behind and are well on their way back home when something ahead interrupts their hike. Hello? Holy f you saw that, right? You saw at four minutes, I can see what appears to be a normal pair of white tennis shoes that kind of looks out of place, so I'm not exactly convinced that this is real. This New Orleans restaurant called Tableau's is thought to be haunted by a ghost who will punish you for what it perceives as any bad beverage selections. Here a waiter is preparing the room for a private party and has finished stocking the refreshments when, coincidentally, the bottles all fly off the shelf and land in the exact area he had just finished sweeping. Three separate comments in this video further verify that this restaurant is quite haunted. One person said the window in this very same room unlatched itself, another said the fire alarm went off on its own, and a third person said they are never going there again because the spirit was staring at them. These comments, combined with this video evidence, is enough to build a strong case for the paranormal in my opinion, but let me know what you think. You expect to come across witches at night, but in the broad light of day, somehow that's even scarier. Published in July of 2019, this video purports to show a witch spotted in Mexican ruins. A man is shown exploring the ruins. Little does he know, over his left shoulder, at a short distance glides the shadow of a witch. At first, the men are oblivious, but as they turn around and walk back towards the entrance, the figure appears again, this time not lurking in the shadows, but rather in the light of day. The men are aware of its presence this time, and as they start to exclaim, the witch takes flight, up, up, and away, hopefully as far away as humanly possible. The video is certainly blurry, which makes determining what this figure actually is quite difficult. Giant moving vat is supposed to pour molten steel into a receiving chamber, where it can be cooled and molded. This receiving must already be full though, because the red hot liquid quickly boils over and the intense heat causes a huge chain reaction. Liquid steel now blankets the floor as the vat continues to do its automated job, sending more of the lava-like substance spraying everywhere. At 5 minutes and 40 seconds, you can see two scared factory workers emerge from their hiding spot around the corner, where they must have been the entire time. They are extremely lucky to be alive. One whiff of the toxic steam would be enough to singe their lungs. Number the last thing you'd want for your Burger King chicken nuggets is a ghost playing with them. But we don't always get what we want. YouTuber Karaoke Batman shares the security footage of a supposed phantom playing around in this Burger King kitchen. Watch behind the worker. Like. Something threw a basket of chicken nuggets from the counter behind him. Watch again closely. <laughs> oh my god. Like. 
since we can't see where the basket of nuggets fell from, I don't know if it simply toppled over or if some mysterious being threw it. I think we'd need further evidence of ghostly activity to draw any sort of conclusion on this one. This video was taken in Nuevo Laredo, Mexico sometime in 2015. The person filming had been hearing loud disturbances all around his house and grabbed a camera before running outside. He is trying to track the source of the movement. It sounds almost like a squeaky trampoline. Nervous birds are chattering loudly nearby. The cameraman zooms in on some of his backyard plants, but whatever is making the noise isn't hiding there. Suddenly, a series of loud bangs come from directly above. He swings the camera around and this is what he finds. What would you do in this situation? Maybe you'd scream, run for cover, or even grab a weapon. This cameraman stands frozen in place, however, too shocked to make a sound. Suddenly, the humanoid creature scrambles over the roof and makes a hasty escape. The person runs into the house and gets away. Both of them appear to be equally afraid of each other. If this long skinny creature is not CGI, then what could it possibly be? Anyone who's ever pulled a prank knows that it can quickly go too far. No one more so than YouTuber Faze Rug. In a prank video posted in December of 2017, Faze Rug writes, Today I decided to do the scariest prank I've ever done, and we took it a little too far. She ended up crying, but the prank was a success. Just how scary was this prank? Well, imagine chatting and watching TV with your cousins when you hear a knock on your second floor balcony window. Ryan had climbed a ladder to the roof in order to pull off this prank, and it proved successful as his targets jumped in fear at the noise. But that wasn't the end of it. Ryan next shakes the handle of the balcony door in a frenzy, causing the trio to race from the room. He hops to another balcony, slamming on the door as well. New, the girl being pranked, then calls Ryan, asking where he is and telling him there's someone outside the home. Ryan claims to be getting food and seemingly happy that he made New so distressed. He tells her they're on their way, donning a freaky mask. What? Ryan, where are you? We're getting food, why? Ryan knocks on the window one last time before hopping to the opposite balcony and bursting through the door that they had previously unlocked. <laughs> Seeing the masked intruder reveal that he's actually their cousin, the boys laugh the prank off, but Nu looks clearly pretty upset about it. Would you be able to find this funny? Or would the stoking of your fear and adrenaline go too far? The G-Team paranormal investigators are at it again, returning to the highly paranormal medical center. The paranormal activity that occurs in this video is sure to scare you silly. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the team writes, We chose this place due to the amount of paranormal activity we always get here, and lo and behold, they were waiting for us. Hold on to your hats, because this one's a wild ride. Patty leads the pack, and the paranormal activity that occurs in the center is off to the races from the get-go. As the crew is doing their intro, something in the next room falls to the floor. Yes. Oh, oh my god. What was it? When they go to investigate, they claim that as soon as they walked into the room, it grew extremely cold. Jody screams, saying he felt like something touched him. He said something got his neck, and Patty points out that a cord hanging from the ceiling in the middle of the room is moving. Throughout the entire video, there are odd noises here and there. Sometimes they're subtle, other times they're distinct. Crazy. Around 10 minutes 25 seconds, Jody is trying to communicate with the presence in the medical center, asking it to tap three times. When that, that was. When that came out, you hear that? 
Although it does not comply, a shadow falls across the room and another loud bang is heard in the next room. All this frightening activity begs the question, what kind of medical procedures went on here? Have you ever caught something creepy on video while using an app? That's what happened to these people who posted the footage to Reddit. Watch the window behind the girl. About four seconds into this clip, you'll spot exactly what scared her. At the beginning of the video, nothing can be seen silhouetted by the light from the window. But four seconds in, when the girl pans over the window again, this figure appears. What is that? It looks like the figure is walking around inside her apartment. While well, some think this is obviously a ghost and others a gargoyle, some in the comments of the video are in fear for the girl's life. Viggy Poos writes, If it's not a ghost, it may be an intruder. Please call the police. Others believe that there's some more plausible explanations. Nikosaurus Rex, for instance, says that it looks like it could be some item stood up on a dresser or surface that she passes by. It does appear as though she's turning the corner while trying to avoid something near the hallway. So the explanation could very well be just that. The figure is rather something out of focus stood on a surface closer to the hallway. Whatever it is, I think we can all agree this video raises many questions while at the same time being incredibly creepy. Claire Julian has a guest over when they both notice her paper dragon wall ornament is swaying slightly. Zoom in and you'll see the very bottom swings back and forth, hardly noticeable unless you really were looking. There is no draft and the air conditioner is not on. They aren't sure what to make of it, so Claire half-jokingly challenges the ghosts to do better, which I'm not so sure was a good idea. You have to do better than that. Thank you. I was thinking that this movement could have been the minute hand of the clock hanging behind it, but Claire says that this clock doesn't work anymore, and now that I think about it, I didn't hear any ticking. Therefore, I think Claire probably has a poltergeist in her home, one that she should stop challenging. Reacher. A broadcast of devastating weather in Peru captured something unusual. TikToker PG Stories Official shares this footage of a mysterious creature lurking in the debris. This was taken in Santa Domenico. Watch closely as the camera pans around. A strange figure is lurking just out of sight. The figure crouches down further when it is seen. What is this thing? Its arms look irregularly elongated, but it's otherwise hard to make out its features. Is it a creature that only appears in bad weather? If the footage was a little clearer, I might have a better idea. But for now, I'm going to say it's the love child of a rake man-shade spirit ghoul. I've got a challenge. Is something in this Redditor's bed? Redditor Zealous Ideal Art 8526 shares a video of something sinking into the bed while they and their dog are sleeping. Take a look. It almost looks like the bed deflates. At the same time, a shadow appears on the back wall. Watch again. While the Redditor clarifies that the shadow may be caused by the TV, the rest isn't as clear. No one in the comments has any theories as to what it might be. Most agree that it's paranormal activity or at least consider it odd. The movement is so strange, I don't have any explanations either. I'd like to see more evidence within this home. This Area 51 video appears to capture no less than five bright lights traveling in a tight cluster. It kind of looks like the government could be testing military 
military grade flares at first, until the lights mysteriously stop in midair, hover for a bit, and then move in the exact opposite direction. These sophisticated flight patterns seem to suggest that they are piloted by intelligent beings. At the one minute mark, all the lights grow intensely bright and almost meld into one solid form, at which point a smaller piece breaks off and moves upwards. This looks like no aircraft that has ever existed before, and as far as many are concerned, it can only be one of two options, a top secret government prototype, or else actual aliens. A supposed mermaid was captured sunning itself on the rocks beside this murky lake. Posted to TikTok, you may want to avoid the water after seeing this clip. Did you notice that there are two of them? You can see the other one's head peek up. Will some in the comments say this is a real mermaid? And mermaids, in fact, look scary like this. I'm not so sure about this video's authenticity. I did some digging online, and it turns out the video's original source is YouTube channel, JJPD Producciones, which specializes in CGI. Whether you choose to believe this is real or fake, it is definitely an impressive reimagination. A YouTuber named Underwater Ireland explores a cemetery on a dreary day. Crows cackle loudly overhead like a warning not to go any further as she treads sacred ground. They look like Celtic type of crosses. Underwater Island looks down and notices that all of the markers have a wide gap. I have never seen any cemetery with this problem before, have you? If I didn't know better, it almost looks like the buried have been trying to claw their way out. She sets up some cameras and records overnight, and this is what she finds the next day. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. There! Did you see the flash? And this is the same shot from a different angle. Also, notice how the gate opens here. Okay, so this frowning man wearing a helmet is what the image looks like when the video is stopped. Is this special effects? Or did a spirit really come face to face with the camera moments after opening the entrance? Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.